It's time for baseball. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Baltimore Orioles. Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. It's the middle of August and it's time for baseball. Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Crock, great to have you with us. It'll be Koji Uehara, the starting pitcher. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? Uh, not one of the better right-handers on the mound right here against a lineup that can put some runs up on the board. If he throws it over the plate, this lineup can do some damage, so he's going to have to really work the corners and rely upon his movement. Lineup for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Scouting report, John. How about some picks? Well, one of the more powerful swings you'll ever see. I mean, Jim Tomey's a big, big man, six foot three, over 250 pounds. So if you're a pitcher and you're facing Jim Tomey, you make the mistake, there's a pretty good chance, and don't be surprised or shocked, that he hits it out of the park. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. That was the White Sox taking the win yesterday. You look at how they've dominated the series. They're three and zero. Have a chance at a 4-0 sweep against Baltimore. Well, as a former player, it's just so much fun to watch a team that's on a roll like this, and no one's going to beat them anytime soon. Oh, one the count right now after he fouled off that first one. Somebody's going to get a W against this team, but it's going to take one heck of an effort to do it. Well, you're right, Gary. It's going to take an unbelievable effort just to compete with this team, much less beat them. Swing sits this one pretty well, deep right center, and Jones tracks it down. I will show you how the Orioles are lined up around the field. And Steve scouting anyone here? A lot of people talk about Matt Wieters and they mentioned Johnny Bench. Now that's a very tough comparison to make, but it, it points out the fact this young guy has all the tools to be a superstar. Oh, Takes a swing at that fastball, can't connect on one. Now if you saw his last game, you got a chance to see that he swung the bat well in that one, picking up a couple of knocks. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez gonna have to protect now. Hard grounded a short, picked up by Asturis. And so Ramirez retired. Now a chance to check out the league hit leaders brought to you by State Farm. And Paul Canerco to bat. Faces empty with two outs. Swing and a miss for strike one. Here's the pitch. Ball. And Paul Canerco watching that one go by to even the count up. Good spot for the changeup that time. One and two. One two pitch coming. A line drive toward short. And that's going to do it. As tourists there. No scoring here, ending this half inning. And first chance next for the O's. And doing the pitching, it'll be John Dank. He's going to start for Chicago. John, as he faces these Baltimore hitters, what's he concentrating on? Well, not many guys this young in their career pitch so many big games, but John Dakes is one of them. He's a dominant pitcher who can be a top of the rotation guy, a 200 inning pitcher. He has a great fastball and a great breaking ball. Nothing but a bright future. 
First pitch to him. Started to go around, held up, but it's in there on one. Danks gets set and delivers. Back behind second, and it's caught by Ramirez. Second baseman. Number 10. Tejada at the plate. How's he doing? Well, lifetime, 307 off the White Sox. Liner between first and second. And Conerco makes the catch. Number 32. It's going to be Wieters. Two outs and nobody on. First pitch of fastball. That's in there for a strike. Oh, that's a quality fastball right there. Just pounding the strike zone down and away. He had no chance to put that one in play. No balls. One strike. Here's Danks. Swing and a miss. And he's behind on the count 0-2. Still 0 and 2. Foul! And that's another foul ball. But when a pitcher throws a pitch out there 0 2, you're expecting him to get a ground out or a strikeout. But this guy just reaches out, puts it in play, defensive swing to keep this thing going. He was uh, able to ring up that K, and that's going to get him out of the inning. So John Danks gets him free up, three down. He gets through the first inning without allowing a hit. And it'll be the White Sox. Top of the second inning. And we're happy to have you here in Baltimore on this clear, beautiful right evening at Oriole Park. Number 20. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. He's the league leader in hits. A smash to first, and it gets through. Keep the streak going. That's going to bring Gordon Beckham. Chicago White Sox, second baseman, number 15, Gordon Beckham. Runner on first, no outs. On the way. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. That's going to one hop off the wall. Quinton around third. Headed for the plate. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. Well this is a guy right here that was made to hit fastballs. And that's what he looks for. And that's what he got right there. Put a good swing on it. He knew what to do with it for that double. And Alex Rios up. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the lead. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense, and somebody they've really come to rely upon. And Fango, he slams into him. And he is out. Oh, my, what a scene. The catcher blocking the plate. Still made the play. Watch this replay as a catcher. You know what's coming, but you also know you got to hang on. Now, that's one of those ones that he's up right now, but he's going to be feeling this one tomorrow. But an excellent job of blocking the plate and getting the out. Chance to drive and a run, A.J. Pierzynski. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0-1. Head up the middle. Whoa, get out of the way of that one. Straight back up the middle. A run comes home. Situations repeating themselves here. A chance to produce, and they are. Well, this is exactly how you plan a game. You make sure you take advantage early in the game, get that offense going to get that run on the board. The pitch. Line towards second. They said maybe two. Rios will head to the plate. This one finds its way around, rolling all the way to the wall. And yes, they are able to bring him home. And Pierzynski comes across two. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Number 27, Jim Tillman. Oh, 
Well, that was a good pitch, but the hitter, give him a lot of credit. He got his bat on it somehow, and that's what you have to do when you're up there in a defensive mode. Try to put the ball play, and good things will happen. And Gary, he got the hit there. Swing and a miss. Tommy, strike one. His lifetime average, 262 against the Orioles. Swing, ball is clobbered high, deep to left center field. And bye bye, that's a two run homer. White Sox lead expanded here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 18, Johnny Damon. One out, base is empty. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0 and 1. And Steve, they're starting to run away here, even though it's early in the ball game. Uh, swung on, hit sharply to first. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Alexi a shot here for Alexi Ramirez. Two down. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops in runs scored. Top five. That one swung on. Hit in the air deep to left field. And that ends the half inning as Scott makes the play. Striking early. Big inning. The White Sox on top. Five to nothing. Second in. And Luke Scott to bat. Left fielder. Number 30, Luke Scott. Danks gets set and strike delivers. One. And he watches a cut fastball to start the at bat for strike one. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement strike down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. Luke Scott looking at that one. A call third strike. His pitches complement one another. They work off of each other. And he used a tremendous sequence right there. One, two, three. Strike out. See you later. One out. Nobody on. Line drive. That's foul towards first. Hit on the ground towards second. Beckham. All right. Two retired here. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in doubles, first in batting average, and they're also the number one team hitting with runners in scoring position. That batting average driving in runners. This lineup knows how to hit in the clutch. They're patient. They let the ball come to them, and then they deliver. And it's a called strike to Jones. And not a lot of expectations here. Just a 182 lifetime average against the White Sox. Now 0 and 2. Danks with some pitches to play with. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. And it holds at 0 and 2. Danks gets set and delivers. Well, you can tell right there that the batter is in protection mode. Anything close, he's just trying to put it in play. The fact that he fouled it off will keep this at bat going. Well, he was able to ring up that K and he needed it, and it got him out of the inning. Good defensive half inning there, no hits allowed. The White Sox maintaining their lead. Taking a count of the ball game, there's Isaac Ian. He's watched his club stake out a nice advantage, probably thinking about making sure his pitching plans keep up with the runs. And here's Paul Canerco. He's the league leader in ribbies. Here it comes. Lined right at the second baseman. This one into the gap, rolling towards the wall.
And he'll stop at second base, and it will be a double. Well, what a great way to get things started. Leading off the inning with the double. Put yourself in scoring position early. Runner on second RBI opportunity for Carlos Quinton. He's number one in runs scored in the league. First pitch to Quinton. Takes a swing, but he's too late on that one. Strike one. Here's the pitch. Up the middle. Oh, man, was that close. That was right back at him. Somehow he got out of the way. Here's a look at the leaderboard brought to you by State Farm in the race for the batting champion. All of these guys, quality contact hitters. And, you know, when you're that kind of a hitter, it means that you can hit any kind of pitch the pitcher throws, and you're using the whole field. You're hitting it where it's pitched. Hit hard to second. And it gets through. Great swing today. Now two hits. The, the opportunity for offense is right now. Center fielder, number 51, Alex Rios. A perfect situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. And Alex Rios up. And one of the top ten averages right now. Pitch on the way. A smash to first. And Canarco will score. At the plate for the uh, Oh, one Lights mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate. AJ he pays for it. Time. And we'll get to see Braden Looper pitching as they make the pitching swap. Well, there are days when you just don't have it, and clearly this was one of those days. Now let's see if the bullpen can slow this offense down. It's going to be Przinski, and they've not had to struggle here at the plate in this game. They just keep building on this lead. The runs just keep on coming right now. Quality at bat after quality at bat. A lot of outs left, but you know what? It looks to me like they're getting ready to put this one away early. And that's a strike. A.J. Przinski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Well, as the old redhead used to say, you get him in the catbird seat and you're on top. And that's where they are right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hot shot towards the hole. The second for one. And two. Double play. They pick up one on three. Hits strand a man. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. This is 1 0. Batting 250 lifetime, 3 for 12 record against the White Sox. Strike Called strike to even things at 1. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. Well hit towards the middle. And Ramirez feels the ball. Over to Canerco. One down. Number Look, Gary, he's pitching well right now. And that's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. Swung on, hit softly, line to left. Base hit, gets it down. That's our first hit of the game for these guys. Just take a look at the Baltimore Orioles and how they're ranking in the American League right now. Fourth in doubles, fourth in walks. And they're in the top ten of team batting average. That depth and length of the lineup paying big dividends for this team as they seem to find ways to get base hit. In there for a strike. And you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter. You're way ahead of the game. That's a foul ball. Danks gets set and delivers. And Tian with the catch. At the plate for the Baltimore Orioles. Shortstop, number three. And we've got his first batting. A runner on first with two outs. First pitch on the way. Danks gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Oh, one pitch is a cut fastball swung on and missed 0 and 2. Good slider that time ruled the ball 1 and 2. Swung on that is hit. And 
see another good John Danks performance in that inning. He continues to dominate through three innings of work. And it'll be the White Sox. And if you were just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crux, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Hit up the middle. What a tremendous catch right there. I mean, what a great effort getting to that ball, making that catch. Jim Tomey. And Jim Tomey. Right there in the top five in home runs. Looper with the windup. Swings and grounds this one foul wide a third. Here's the pitch. Swung on hit. Picked up by Asturis. Retiring Tommy. Oh, look at the leaders and extra base hits courtesy of State Farm. And it's Johnny Damon now. Two outs, base is empty. First pitch on the way to Damon. Shot towards the hole. And no one's going to get it. Falls in, base hit. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. This is what the schedule looks like for Baltimore. Alexei. Chicago series ends tonight. To get to try and cool down a hot team. The Indians at Progressive Field. That will be a three game series. And they have to contend with Deanna Navarro in that lineup brought in by Tampa Bay. The team they rolled over last time out. A lot of road games on the way. One of the best batting averages in the league. This one to Jones. And that one's put away to retire the side. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. The White Sox six, Baltimore nothing. And it's Miguel Tejada now. Second base. Number 10, Miguel. First pitch to Tejada. He waved at that breaker and misses, and an 0 1 count. Into the fourth inning, clearly pitching dominating this lineup right now. Like he's only given up one hit. And they just have not had quality at bats against him. He's making it look easy. Now 0 and 2. Danks with some pitches to play with. Well, this may be a setup pitch right here. Oh. Soft up and in. Now let's see if they go hard away. Swung on and a ground at a first. Out and that's out number one as he takes it to the bag. Number 32. It's going to be Wieters. Hitless, six career at bats against Danks. First pitch to Weeders. First pitch is a cutter. Looked at 0-1. No balls, one strike. Here's Danks. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Matt Weeders. Watch that strike zone. And you can throw the ball down to the zone with that kind of movement. It can be very effective. Slider misses, and it's one and two down. Well, Gary, that's a slider down and away, and it just slides out of the strike zone. The best hitters in the game lay off it. Because they know they put it in play. It's an out. And he steps on first. That's the second out. And here's Luke Scott. Now he gets a walk a lot. The American League has him in the top five. The pitch. Starts him off with one in there for a strike. That is a strike. Scott's going to have to be very careful on this next delivery. He has great bite on this slider, throwing it down and into the hitter. Gets away with one, and he gets in for the strike. Can't connect on that. Scott, a big cut, up empty. Nobody left on base. No runs or hits here in this half inning. Baltimore still hoping to put something up. Leading off the top of the fifth. And Paul Canerco to lead it off. The leading the league in home runs. 14. Paul Canerco. And he starts Canerco out. Looper's pitch swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. Swing and a miss. Well, I fooled him right there. That two seam fastball has to be down to the zone to be effective. But swing and a hot shot. Oh, my. That almost got him. I don't know how he got out of the way. And uh, pulls in the first with a single. He's on with nobody out. Number 20, Carlos Quinton.
Well, a good start to this inning, but let's see if the guys behind him, after he starts out this inning with the single, can follow up and finish this inning off with some runs. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now, leading the MLB in batting average. Such a consistent, plate, productive, professional one hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. And Beckham's in the box. He has seven hits, 22 career ABs against the Orioles. Hit hard on the ground to short. That's one. And that's two. A double play. 6-4-3 double play. Nice move at second base. Now that's a great double play. Going off double plays like that can really shift the momentum of the game. Here's Alex Rios now, RBI champ. He's a big home run guy, top 10 in the league right now. And he starts Rios out, back up the middle. And that ball gets through, and the runner's going to come home. Well, he's getting the job done this year, no question about it. Such production, so consistent. Number 12, A.J. Krasinski. Well, that base hit will move him up to double digits as far as his hitting streak goes. Great job. Runner on first, two away. First pitch, here it comes. Hard ground at a short. Throw in time, forces him at second for the third out. And heading to the dugout, Braden Lupin. Up next, Orioles. And Wigginton's batting. Third base. Number 23, Todd Wigginton. And the first pitch. That's a good pitch from Danks. It's in there. Well, if he could throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Good movement to that cutter, and he's in the hole now, 0-2. Swung on and hit. It's going to be Quentin. Catch is made. Here's the Central Division race as it stands going into the dog days of summer. Brought to you by State Farm. First place, the White Sox. In second place, it's the Royals. In third, the Indians. Twins are fourth. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. In the tough AL Central, we all thought the White Sox would finish down on the pack, but instead, they're sitting on top and making this all look silly. Yeah, yeah. Missed ball one. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And he steps on first. That's the second out. And Aubrey at the plate. Base is empty and two down. Here's the first pitch. Line drive fouled off oh. towards first. Danks gets set and delivers. Beckham throws the first side is retired. And a good defensive half inning. Three up, three down. The White Sox still ahead. Another chance for the leadoff hitter coming up in the inning. And here's Mark Tian leading it off. A couple of RBIs thus far. Well, he's already driven in a couple runs in this one, Gary. you got to believe they're going to pitch him a little bit more carefully this time around. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. And he gets this one by him on one. You saw their last game. You saw what a big part of their offense he was contributing with three base hits. There's a swing and a smash. And Jones takes care of that one. One away. And it's Jim Tomey at the plate. He homered earlier in the ball game. Well, he's swinging the bat very well today and doing a little bit of everything. Driving in runs, hitting the ball out of the ballpark, having a good ball game. One out, bases him. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Strike Circle one. change. Cut on him. Missed 0 and 1. Steady numbers. 3 for 6 lifetime against Braden Looper. Strike and two. that's a strike. Tomei's going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. 
A good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. A good break on a 90 mile an hour pitch. He just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. John thought the uh, timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the end. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. It's Damon at the plate. Top five AL and run scored. Right Lucas pitch swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out. The guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. And he'll step on first to retire the side. We have three down, Braden Looper. We'll go to the last of the six now. Here's a shot of Dave Tremblay. And some good pitching last inning. He now hopes to get the necessary offense going, get him going in the right direction. He's going to lead off bottom half of the sixth inning. First pitch on the way. That one's lined softly towards the gap left center. And he gets it down. He's two for two now. Now batting. Well, it's so important for your team to get guys on base and in scoring position early in the inning. And that's exactly what he did with that double. And the first pitch. Fastball swung on a miss. Going one. Hit hard on the ground to short. Fielded by Ramirez. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. It's time. Time to get it done. Baltimore, let's see if they can. Runners at the corners with no one out. And here's the first one. And he takes the ball, 1-0. For his career, 254 against the White Sox. Lays off again, 2-0. Flat fastball right there, just missed, just below the knees. Tape towards the middle. It's gobbled up. That's one out. And there's two, a double play. And the run comes in. Gary, you get a chance to look at this double play in the replay, and this is an outstanding effort to make the catch get to the bag and make the throw that's a rally killer and that's going to deny the chance at a big inning here and here's the first one and that swung on and hit Rios and that should be a single that'll bring up Matt Weider we take a look at the Eastern Division standings on the State Farm standing board as we head into the dog days of summer Red Sox in first place Yankees in second place in the three hole it's the Orioles Rays are fourth and it's the Blue Jays last right. starts him out with a change up for a strike they just plain old fooled him right there he must have been looking for on the ground to second Beckham throws on to first in time to retire the side they pick up one on three hits strand a man the Orioles in. and it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off wearing the collar thus far Alexei Ramirez and Ramirez settles in first pitch and that swung on and hit and Jones and so Ramirez retired one away and here's Paul Canerco bases empty one out Looper with the windup this one swung on and driven hard and Jones takes care of that one. Two down. Well, Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here. And that's second in a row that he set down. Base is empty with two outs. The first pitch. Right on it, but he fouls it straight back. And another foul ball. Swung on and missed. Struck him out. That's going to retire the side. Only five pitches to get out of that inning. That'll rest your own. Seventh inning stretch time in Baltimore. Out of the order due to bat next. And 
Luke Scott to bat. He was a strikeout victim last time through the line. Here's the first pitch. There's a swing in contact. This one to Damon. The catch, and he puts it away. Out number one. And Wigginton's batting. 0 for 2 thus far. Base is empty with one away. There's a strike from Danks, now 0 and 1. Okay, one out here in the seventh inning. I mean, you have to like the way this is going. They're looking good. The pitch is throwing. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And they got to him in time to tag him up. Center fielder, number 11, Adam Jones. Two outs and nobody on. He deals. There is a swing and a liner. And that's out number three. No runs, no hits, no one left on. The White Sox still ahead. And Beckham's in the box. Second base, number 15, Gordon Beckham. Here's the first pick. Cut on and missed on one. I fooled him right there. That two-seam fastball has to be down in the zone to be effective, but it looked like he was looking for a different pitch. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. He has to back up for it. Comes away with the out. Hardest hit to accomplish in baseball. Our state farm leaderboard. The most triples in the league. One out. And Alex Rios at the plate. Single home a run in his last at bat. Uh, they're winning here, Gary. One of the reasons why is because he's driven in a couple runs in this one. And he starts Rios out. That swung on line towards the gap and left center. Off the wall on a hop. And he's in at second with a double. One out. Well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? It's going to be. There's contact. He drove it well. This one to Jones. No problem for him as he gets that out. And he looks that runner back to second base. He couldn't get all of that low pitch right there, but at least able to advance his teammate to third base. On a pitch down low like that, make some contact and, and don't get that lead runner stranded. They didn't. Two outs, a runner 90 feet from scoring at third. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. That one's drilled to short. And Rios comes in. Now batting for the Chicago. Steve, White sometimes Sox. that pitch down the middle you want to drive. He chose to take it the other way. A uh, good piece of hitting. You don't have to always pull that ball. You think up the middle at first and then adjust accordingly. Outstanding adjustment. And Jim tell me. Here, I mean, with that hit right there, I mean, they're just pouring gasoline on the fire right now. Somebody's got to have a hose. Two outs and a man on first. Looper with a windup. And he takes one in there, 0 and 1. And if you only had an answer, the hitters would love to know where did this come from? More importantly, how do we keep it? There are games like this during the season where you just can't get anybody out. And I, and I tell you what, I mean, if you could bottle it, you could sell it. And I'd be, go into business with you, and we'd both be millionaires. Fastball swung on and missed, side retired. Well, they score once on two hits, one man left. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Here's a look at Ozzy. Ozzy Gant. He has to be pleased with his team's performance so far today. And Aubrey at the plate. He'll get us started as we go to the bottom half of the eighth inning.
Danks gets set and delivers. And there's a called strike. Well, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so th they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. This one's grounded to second. Back up. Over to Canerco. One away. Number double this last time. Nobody on base. One away. And the first pitch. Danks gets him to swing and miss for a strike. You know, Gary, with one out right here, they still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. They need to score here in this eighth inning and not leave it all to the night. Doesn't get the call on the slider. One and one. Doing what? Not a pretty pitch, no damage. The 2 1 pitch. Two and, two. and that's in there to even us at two. And you could throw the ball down on the zone with that kind of movement. It can be very effective. The 2 2 coming. Slider in there and gets him looking two down. Get a chance to take a look at this slider right here, Gary. That slider started at him and broke down and in into the strike zone. Just locked up the hitter. Here's the first pitch. This one's grounded near third. Foul. Oh, one. Good hard cutter in for a call strike. Uh, Gary, I think right now that uh, you've got to consider trading outs for runs if, if you're pitching. I mean, listen, uh, just keep getting outs right now. You have the countdowns there. You only need four outs left to win this ballgame. Fastball swung out and missed, and the sides retired. Nothing doing here in this half inning. The White Sox still ahead. Dave Tremblay looking on. He's reflecting right now. Not uh, likely a lot of positive reflections, however, in this game. It's Damon at the plate. Looper with a windup. Damon will foul that one away. Lined hard down the left field line. And this is a fair ball heading towards the corner. He stops at second. That will be a double. He's in scoring position now with nobody out. Alexi. Boy, that's hit number 15 in them for that one. And boy, you get 15 hits in a game. The manager can just sit back and relax and watch his team work. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. He flew out his last time up. Now a little confusion sets in. Oh, and they have picked him off and easily. A great throw, great timing. It's all about the spin on this one. Well, what a relief for the pitcher, too, to be able to pick a guy off second base in scoring position. Great job. One out, nobody on. And the first pitch. Strike one. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Now swinging a shot toward second. Two down here in the inning. Now we have a look at the league leaders for the best on base percentage. The table setters brought to you by State Farm. These guys really understand the nature of the game. They understand that they cannot help the pitcher retire them. They force the pitcher to throw it over the plate. They can put it in play and get a base hit or they'll take a walk. Looper with a windup. That's it foul by Canerco. Strike two from Looper. Now let's see if he wants the K. It's tough for hitters to protect both sides of the plate. You can't protect the outside and the inside, especially when you're throwing your fastball down in the way. 
So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. The White Sox eight, Baltimore one. Thighs again looking up. Number three. He has to be very pleased right now riding this one up. And we've got his tourist batting. He has the support of the home fans right now. He's their first chance here in the bottom half of the night. They're hoping he can get something started. First pitch on the way. Grounded up the middle. Beckham. That's one away. I see a, uh, you know, winning big right now. You just want to go out there, make plays, throw strikes, force them to try to put multiple hits together to get back into this game. One out, faces him. A swing and a foul off to the right side. No balls, one strike. Here's Danks. That's a strike and an 0-2 count. Tejada now will watch that strike zone carefully. Well, the way to keep the ball in the ballpark is by going down and away. It's the that ball swung on, hit Rios to field it, and that'll retire Tejada. Two away. Number 32. It's going to be Weeders. Grounded out his last time up. And here's the first one. Doesn't make contact on that Danks pitch. Ball. That misses one and one. Swung on grounder. This might be it. And on to first for out number three, and that's going to do it. White Sox win this in a lopsided victory, a dominating performance, Gary. Now we present our Pepsi Clutch performer. Definitely a difference maker in this one, John Danks. Well, you know, Gary, he made just that one mistake, but that doesn't tarnish the shine of this performance today. And I'll tell you what, a manager absolutely loves it when he doesn't have to go to the bullpen. He can give those guys a day off, and it makes them stronger for the remainder of the season. But I tell you, this guy was throwing strikes today, and it was an easy decision to keep him in the game. When you take to the road, Steve, any win will do, but when you get this kind of offense, it's...